everyone, it's David here from Freedom Founders. Let's talk about getting to your freedom point. And I'm talking about getting to your freedom point sooner, not later. What's the freedom point for most people? Well, it's what we call today by society's terms, retirement age. You know, we're supposed to go to work, first get the education, then get the career, the professional practice, whatever we're in, and work that that baby, you know, for 30, 35, 40 years until we can get to some magical retirement age that's usually at least 60, 62, 65. And today, many times, unfortunately, it's going up into people's 70s if their bodies can keep going. If not, then there's a, a massive downsizing of lifestyle and a lot of other, other things that aren't very pretty or very appetizing to be going through at a later age in life. My premise is that, that freedom or your freedom point is when you get to do what you want to do, when you want to do it and with whom you want to do it. Now that seems like a pipe dream to most people, especially if you're if you're relatively recently out of school or maybe you're even mid-career or maybe you're even at the, towards your, the end of your career or what you'd like to be at the end of your career and you don't see any way off the treadmill. I get that because I was at the same place you know, early in my career. The only thing I did differently, only thing I did differently than any of you, I'm sure, was the fact that I got started in real estate investment when I was in dental school, actually my first year of dental school. And I worked that at the same time I worked my practice. Now, so I was doing dual. I was doing mostly work in the practice, but I was still building real estate on the side. And that took time because I didn't really have a definite blueprint. I didn't have a pathway. I just knew that real estate would work. And I did have mentors. I didn't just do it totally blindly. I didn't just read books. I had mentors uh, that, that, that were really good people that I vetted out and, and, and helped a great deal. But even over a period of time, that real estate compounding worked. In other words, it created the cash flow and the net worth equity, but mostly the cash flow from that net worth equity to allow me to go free from my practice when my daughter was very, very sick, going through a liver transplant after leukemia and epilepsy back in 2004. And that's what I call plan B. Today, I call that a plan B. I didn't call it then back then because I didn't know what, what a plan B was. I didn't know how to build one. It was it was a little bit by, by luck, but also by some intention because I knew real estate was a model that if I did it long enough, and if I worked at it enough, it would get there. Now today, I know how to do that so much faster. And a big part of doing real estate, building wealth and passive cash flow faster has to do with your network, the people you're connected to, because real estate is what we call an inefficient marketplace. Unlike Wall Street, which is very efficient. You can click on your mouse and, and trade and, and buy funds and sell and all that kind of stuff. It's hard, it's hard to make that work, especially with the volatility of that kind of marketplace. Real estate, a slower model, you can leverage into real estate so you can make up for lost time more quickly, but it's all about who you know. And so I spent you know, the last f almost four decades, you know, 38 years in real estate building connections. Part of it was through mentorship, showing me how to do it, but the rest of it today is the way I, what I, the way I do in, investing in real estate. The way I teach people in Freedom Founders is it's through other people, not true partnerships. Ah, I don't like true partnerships. Quasi-partnerships called joint ventures, strategic alliances. I invest through other people that have track records that I've vetted that I like the asset class. I know something, I know quite a bit about it. That's the way to do it because, because that saves me what I want most in my life right now and that's time. You see, money can buy you time, but you can't get there until you leverage up and build the network, the equity that gives you that cash flow that lets you have that freedom. So my point is, you wanna to get to freedom sooner, not later. Can you do that? Absolutely can do that. And Freedom Founders, our big promise to the vast majority of our members, you can do it in five to seven years. We've got those that have done it in two years. And we've got some that it may take them 10 years or 15 years if they're younger and they come in with a lot of debt. And if people want to live a big, big lifestyle, that's going to hold them back. But there's a pathway. There's a blueprint. We've got one proven. It's a proven model. And if you want to test drive it, just go through the process application to come to one of our meetings, one of our masterminds as a guest and see what it's all about. If we think you're right, we'll invite you to come. If we think it's not right for you, we'll tell you why and how to position, position yourself or make the next step forward so it is right for you. We're all about right people, right time, right place. Real estate is not an alternative to what's not working in your practice or your life. You gotta get those things fixed as well. But real estate is a great adjunct to building wealth and it's a great pathway and a step to your personal freedom. And that's what I want you to focus on. This has been David. I hope to talk to you very, very soon.